Hi everybody. So today we're going to talk about the pool vacuum since we got a lot of votes on that and later in the week we'll talk about the jewelry. So um, today I'm going to talk about my cordless pool vac. Um, this one is called the Pool Blaster Catfish. This comes in two different kinds. There is a square head one, but there is also um, one that is more of like a corner piece one. The corner piece one tends to be more pricey. However, I did put a link if you have a BJ's membership, that one is on sale at BJ's and that link is on my website as well, paradiseonapenny.com. So what I wanna show you first is that this is a rechargeable cordless vac. So here is where the plug goes in and it turns green or red on the part that is charging. You do not have to charge it every day. I probably haven't charged it in almost a week and it's fine. Um, when you're done, you pull the plug out, you put this on here like this and you close it up. For this part, there is a regular filter part. This is for the branches and leaves. However, our pool tends to have sand in it sometimes because the kids play back and forth from our sandbox and then go in the pool. So this part that also comes with it catches the sand. So you simply stick that in there and you put it around the, um, the rubber part. Sometimes that makes it a little bit more difficult to get the head part on. So put this part in here and push the rubber part down like that. So it's nice and snug. And then you go ahead and you make sure that the head part, whether it's the square or the triangular one, you put it right on top of here and then you have to make sure it's all the way in. Like I said, sometimes it can be a little bit of a struggle um, because this definitely makes it more bulkier when you have the sand part on it. But if you put it on and twist, usually it twists on pretty quick, and then you're ready to go. We bought this pole at Home Depot, but you can also buy it on Amazon. Um, I will put the link to this as well on my website. You just put it on and snap it in. And then you go over to the pole. Now, be this morning, my littles were in already, so what we did was we had them whirlpool in the direction of the filter so that all of the dirt kind of starts to go in the middle. As you see, there's grass and things in here that I do need to get out with the screen, but this part will get more of the dirt on the bottom. So what you do is you click this red button that's on the back part of it. It'll start the machine. You put the machine under the water. You push it all the way down. And I don't know if it's gonna be easy to see, but watch as I do the middle of the pool because that's where most of the dirt is. You go right over it and it suctions it just like a dust buster. And obviously I would do a lot more than this, but I'm actually gonna take it out just so you can see what it grabbed already. So when it comes out of the pool, the water comes out of it. I usually let the water go for a second, shut it off. And when you take it out, you twist it. The filter comes out just like that. And if you look inside, you can see all the stuff that it grabs. You pull the sock part of it out. So that part's still clean now. And this part, I just bring over and I empty it right into the garbage. I'm gonna just go like that so you can see it. And all that was at the bottom of the pool. So again, pretty cool vacuum. We seem to like it, the Pool Blaster Catfish. Go ahead onto my website, paradiseonapenny.com. Follow me, follow my uh, Instagram, follow my Facebook, and we will talk to you soon. Bye.